everyone. I'm Mike Green. Joining alongside me, as always, is Jeff Van Gundy. Welcome to the Talking Stick Resort Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Game 7 of the NBA Finals between the Phoenix Suns and the Boston Celtics. Boston's dreams can come true tonight. The entire season comes down to one game. These NBA Finals all even at three games apiece. It's Game 7. Jeff, how do the players deal with this pressure? It's so hard. You've worked your entire life for this opportunity. The pressure is immense. Every play will be magnified. We will see in a couple hours who can handle the pressure the best. Smart setting up the play. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. Tatum's two-pointer won't go. Tightly contested shot. That was going to be tough to make no matter who you are. The catch and fire away from downtown. It's a three. Made the most of his opportunity and he knocked it in. Three ball. The screen is set. Wow, no whistle despite a punishing screen. Oh, pretty pass and an easy two. Saunders looking to get free off the screen. Three-point attempt. Misses from beyond the arc. Fires again. He rattles it in. Excellent screen. Booker. Ten seconds now on the 24. Excellent defensive pressure. Time is not on their side. What will they do? Booker fires for three with one on the clock. Trying to work it down low. Horford fires. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Shot clock says 12. Down into the lane. Swats that away. Just gets it off in time. That one halfway down before popping out. Tatum setting it up. Three minutes gone by in the first. Boston's down by two. Too smart. Defense has to switch. From the corner, a three-pointer. Morris, the rebound. Paul on the drive, again with the open shot. Booker can't get that one to go either. To the basket, flips it up, makes the adjustment, and banks it in. You got to get your guys down the floor in transition quicker than they can get back. If you can rebound it and then get it up the floor, you're going to have numbers to exploit the basket opportunities. Attack the rim. Don't settle for jumpers. Finish strong. Tatum. Stops on a dime, pulls up for the shot. Can't knock it down. Misses at the rim. Booker against Horford. To Paul. Terrific block by Horford. To Tatum, to the rim. All right, getting ready now for the first of two free throw attempts. And a foul called against the Suns. Their first team foul. Hey, you don't see strength like that very often. The way he got fouled, 
just to get the ball up into the rim was a great achievement. First free throw, perfect. Goes two for two at the line. Hooker's using the screen, looking to get free. Curling in, gets a piece of it. Shoots it for two. In and out, that one halfway down. And that was great defense to force that miss. He was right up in the shooter's face. Throws down the dunk. Nice work to get the gimme shot. Easy dunk. Smart working at the point. Screen set nicely. Sets up the J nicely with the step back. Tatum shot, misses the two. To Paul. The shot clock down to 12 seconds remaining. Hits the backboard and out of play. The Celtics get the inbound in here. Gets it right back. And the ball gets stripped. And a foul. And after the foul, he'll get to the line. Knocks down the first one. Throw shooting, knocks down a pair. It's a loose ball. They tip it and get the turnover. To Horford, fires from downtown. Morris, the rebound. Turnover forced by Horford. Tatum. And now he moves around the defender to the rim. Can't get it to go from close range. To Morris, puts it up from downtown. Hits the three. Phoenix is showing so much confidence with the three-point shot. It's a big reason for their lead. And he curls in. Off the drive. Nice move adjusting for two. A nice finish at the rim, but it's the move that set it up to be able to create that quality shot. Paul's trying to get free off the pick. Still plenty of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Gorgeous spin move, and he gets it to go. Now that's an explosive move to the rim and a nice layup finish. Ball comes loose. He curls. Booker, defensive pressure, perfect. Kicks it back outside. Paul fires with two on the clock from downtown. Oh, he beats the defender. Fires away for two. Tatum misses again. Hard to make contested shots against that good of defense right there. Very well defended. And he'll head to the line to shoot two. And he's fouled. 
Outstanding post-up basketball move right there. Using his body to back down, draw the contact, and eventually draw the foul. And he hits the first free throw. Gets both points from the line. Ref blows the whistle. We'll have a timeout. The Celtics down by five. Suns making a substitution here. Thomas running the team. Oh, excellent screen. He dishes it. Off the fake, the layup just won't go from point blank range. You contest, they miss. You don't, they score. It's really that simple. Chandler's looking to operate from down low. to Paul. Good switching on defense. Puts it up. Oh, he tried to put it in off the glass. That's good defense right there. Good contest. Finishing their defense strong. Goes to the goal. Can't connect from close range. Tremendous job making it difficult to get the ball to the basket. Inside. Sweet banker. Pretty pass from Chris Paul. Good defense translates into good offense. Here, secure the rebound, finish your defensive possession, and then get out and go. Take the ball to the basket, get an easy opportunity, reward your hard work on defense. Pass to the corner. Booker for two, shoots away. Tatum the rebound. Tatum directing traffic. Curls in, it's a loose ball. The pass deflected out, and it'll still be Celtics ball. And we have a substitution being made. Eleven seconds remaining on the 24. Looking to curl in. Off the fake, takes the jumper. Thomas, it's not even close with that attempt. Mike, it's what I say all the time. Defend, defend, defend. If you are consistent with your defensive effort, you can wear on teams. You can wear on individual players. And when you do that, you can get multiple stops in a row, which allow you to get a run going. Nope. First free throw won't go. Hitting the second free throw, he's one for two. Thomas setting things up. Brad leads using the screen, trying to get free. Gets past the defender. Soft touch, gets the roll. It's impossible to guard a guy off the dribble who can stop on a dime and knock in the pull-up jump shot. Crawford against Bradley, moves around the defender, gets to the rim, Chandler's attempt off the glass, won't go. Another good quality attempt at the basket. Unfortunately, they missed it. 
quick release for three. Warren's first shot off the mark. Crawford on the drive, spins inside for the shot. Off the glass, won't go. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look, just couldn't knock it in. Dunks it hard. You've got to keep pushing and probing. Set a tone in the first half. We're going to run it, and we're going to attack the basket in transition. He saw the opening, he took advantage of it, and he made the finish at the basket. And Jamal Crawford with the bucket. It's not enough just to beat your man off the dribble. You've got to finish the play with strength at the rim. To Horford. And he kicks it out. Puts it up. Deep corner shot. And Avery Bradley with a nice play, sinking the three. He's averaging 16 points per game this season. That's efficient offense, generating a corner three-point mate. Screen set nicely. Crowder for two, puts it up. Warren the rebound. Olenek's trying to get down low. Bradley. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. In the paint, puts it in. Knocks down his first shot of the night. Crawford. First quarter complete. The Celtics up by one. Stay with us for more NBA action after this short break. First quarter, nice tight game. This got a chance to be a good one, Jeff. I'm really excited to see both of these teams, if they can continue to play at this level. Good, solid NBA game right now because both teams playing very well. To Crawford. Eight seconds now on the 24. He tries to step back. That won't go. To Warren for two. Unable to flip it in. Time and again, they've showed a commitment to contest shots in the paint. Nothing easy. Crawford, good play, gets the steal. To the basket, gets it to drop. Boston's off to a great start offensively in this game, Mike. They've got a nice rhythm to their offense at this point. To Crawford. And the defense switches, curling in, puts up another shot, scores at close range. To Thomas. And now he moves around the defender. Nice catch and shoot. Jumper off the mark that time. Couldn't have played that shot any better. Made it a much more difficult shot than if it was an open look. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Ready, bank shot on the adjustment. And basketball's a game of runs. And this game has been no exception. It's been back and forth, and it's giving the fans the kind of up and down, back and forth action that keeps them interested. Bradley. Goes to the pull-up from downtown. Chandler the rebound. Two minutes gone by in the second. Boston's down by one. Crawford against Thomas. To the rim. Crawford misses another one. No paint game, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there.
at the rim. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Hey, you're not a one-man team. You've got to spread the ball around so that you can get better shots than that. A coach cannot stand for those type of shots. Slices through the lane, back and forth. Nice looking Euro step. Oh, excellent screen. To Olinick. Puts it up from three point land. Bang! From downtown. Boston's two for six from long range. Made the most of his opportunity and he knocked it in. Three ball. Chandler's trying for position in the paint. Slams it home. Now that's a big man dunk right there. Finishing with strength and force. Brad leads looking for the screen to get himself open. To Warren. Looking to dominate down low. Warren fires away for two. In and out. It's hard to close out on great shooters. Tremendous job right there. Getting his hand up, mirroring the ball. It's a loose ball. Oh, that pass nearly picked off. Gets the two. Lucky roll. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. There's the pick. Gets in the paint for the layup. Misses at the rim. Crawford. Into the paint. To the rim. And Jamal Crawford with a two-pointer. He's got six points in this game. To Thomas. With the fake, Sweet gets inside. The shot clock shows 10 seconds left. Looking for low post position. Nice fake. Can't get it to go from close range. Great pass. Chandler on the drive. Oh, he swats it. To the basket, flips it up, misses on the adjusted shot. Hey, you gotta finish strong on those shots. You're right at the basket, you gotta put the ball in the hole. Crawford just won't go for point blank range. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look, he just missed it. Feeds it right back. With the left hand, sweet. Crawford misfires again. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Looks like we'll have a timeout. And we have a couple of substitutions here. Following the timeout, we now return to action. Quick feedback. Pulls up from beyond the arc. Rebound corralled by Chandler. And that's become a familiar sight, watching him grab rebound after rebound. He's definitely putting in the work. From three-point land, knocks down the three-pointer off the quick release. Isaiah Thomas with seven points and two assists. I am absolutely on the edge of my seat during this game. The back and forth, the lead changes, every possession, so important to the outcome of the game. Tatum to the rim. Smart adjustment for the shot and gets it to go. When everybody is involved in touching the ball, like what's happening here in the first half, and you've got your assist total up, then you're going to create also a defensive intensity at the other end of the floor. And that's exactly what has happened here in the first half. 
Tatum running the offense. Green set nicely. Goes for the three-pointer. Three-pointer. Won't go. Thomas from downtown. Plenty of room. Bang. Three-pointer. He's two for three from outside. This man makes it look easy shooting the ball from deep. Booker's looking to get free off the screen. To Crawford. Not much time to get this shot off. Help defense there with the switch. With a super quick release. Can't hit. Late in the shot clock, you know it's difficult because somebody's going to try to take you in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Excellent team defense to force the miss by contesting the shot very hard. To Chandler. Oh, nice block. Tries to adjust the shot. Can't connect from close range. Booker. Dumps it off beautifully. They're going to have to be quick here. And he curls in, shot clock buzzer sounds, a violation called against the Suns. I like what I see right there. Five guys moving together to shut off every option from the offense, and it results in a shot clock violation. All right, here we go. They'll put it in play. Olenek, careless ball handling. And it's stolen. Puts it up. Unable to flip it in. Thomas for three. Contested shot. Thomas is off the mark from three-point land. Great contest on that shot, Mike. He had the shot timed perfectly to challenge and force the miss. To Paul. Ten seconds to go on the shot clock. Goes to the goal on the banker on a gorgeous feed from Chris Paul. Hey, kids at home, you need to study this man's body control and poise as he finished that shot in the paint. Puts it up for two. Strong lead. Fantastic follow. What a putback. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. Driving, great rebounding on the offensive glass from deep in the corner. And Jamal Crawford with the three-pointer. We're seeing a lot of offensive energy on the floor from both of these teams with terrific ball movement. To Olenek, he loses control of it. Here's a steal. Crawford, count it, plus the foul for the free throw for a chance at a three-point play. Terrific concentration to finish the shot and now shoot a free throw. down the free throw and that completes the three-point play Thomas the coach on the floor fires from three-point range that's good Boston shooting 35 percent from downtown on the season long-range shooting is beautiful to watch when you're shooting it as well as this team has in this game Collides with the defense and still banks it home. What a great back and forth game we've been watching here today, Mike. It's getting hard to keep count of all the lead changes. Thomas. He curls, adjusts the shot, and gets it to drop. 
That's excellent body control to finish that shot in the paint against great defense. Paul for two, lets it go. Ooh, misses the inside shot. Gets to the rim, banks it in. It's not enough just to beat your man off the dribble. You've got to finish the play with strength at the rim. Looks to the post. Fires for two. Tatum the rebound. Shot clock says 12. Oh, excellent screen. Tatum setting it up for the isolation. Nice fake. Stops on a dime and pulls up. That's good for two. Now look at that fake. Lifting his defender off of his feet and then being able to still create an angle for the two-point shot. Passes it right back. Nice move into the paint. Paul for two. Pretty crossover setting up the shot from Chris Paul. Shoots for three. Oh, nice rebound by Paul. Final seconds, he'll just fire it up. And that'll do it for the first half. Boston's up by three. Your halftime report, lots to talk about with Jalen Rose. to you by yours truly, Jalen Rose. The Celtics have themselves a close game after two quarters. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Boston Celtics. The Suns are keeping things exciting in a close matchup. And even though they don't have the lead, they're doing a great job of moving the ball around. They might find themselves on the winning end of the scoreboard if they can keep it up. These are the guys getting buckets for the Phoenix Suns. Game track. Bench points. The coaches are getting the kind of bench production that can make for some interesting rotations. Keep an eye on the substitution patterns in the second half. And now I'll put the screen, the first half steps. Player of the half. Thomas is doing everything he can on defense to get the win. He's blocking shots, he's getting steals, and he's setting the tone for his team. Here's our top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Mike and Jeff are ready to get started, so we send it back to them now. 